What's up everyone, it's HP. Today, um, Gun Collector sent me this. It's a Switza Gauntlet. So I'm gonna make a review on this. Here's the knife. Let me go over the rules and regulations on this. Uh, first off, I gotta put my name, which I did. These are the names of the people that did the review on this knife. This is one knife, okay? They have rules. So here's the rules and regulations. Um, no sharpening, factory edge only. Knife must see some form of use, but not intentional abuse. Don't try to break it. Don't do nasty sh with it. The tweezers pop popping pimples, blah, 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 plucking hair. Uh, show use of at least one, two other than the main blade. So, uh, this knife is basically, you guys ever heard of the Swiss Army knife? This reminds me, the first time I ever seen this type of uh, knife was uh, when I used to watch uh, MacGyver. Might want to pass the time. Cut yourself a little elbow room. MacGyver used to carry this and he used to do tons of stuff with this type of knife. But this is a newer knife. This is actually a lot skinnier, uh, less things it doesn't have like scissors and and all that stuff on them so let's do the first thing the blade the blade itself is um, about three three point two inches as you can see it's not it's not a very big uh, blade it's a normal size blade, sorry, there's a lot of mosquitoes here. Blade itself is actually, uh, it's not dull, but it's pretty sharp. So what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna grab one of these twigs or, or branches and try to carve it out. So I find a small little twig and that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna carve it out. So it does. Freaking mosquitoes, man. Just got done raining. So, you can do a little bit of carving here. And it's still sharp. This, unlike the other ones, this actually has a lock to it. So, it can't close on your hands. Like the old-fashioned uh, Swiss Army knife, it has no lock. In order to unlock it and close it, first... You have to push on this, uh, I call it the first aid cross. Push in, and then it closes. All right, so the other design they have is, I don't even know what this is. This is like an extra, um, I'm gonna say you can use this to, this is actually, you can get, um, cut your skin open and take out a, a splinter. Although you have, little tweezers for that too to pull it out these tweezers are not meant they're so light they're not meant to pluck eyebrows and stuff like that they're meant specifically for splinters my next one is actually just a Phillips screwdriver and with this Phillips screwdriver common sense you just screw something on all right the next one it's a bottle opener the bottle opener is basically um, open bottles and the tip here as you can see you could use that as a screwdriver there's another one that I want to show you guys uh, I like this one It's actually the can opener but if you can see here let it focus here if you look on it it has like a little filer here but I thought the bottom was sharp but the bottom is not sharp because I was gonna say you can use it for a seatbelt type thing in a emergency situation now what I did find a use of this not only you can open um, 
hands, but it can also do this. This, for those of you that don't know, is a fire starter. This is a flint, and it comes with this metal piece. You just strike it here, and it creates sparks. There you go. Let's say I lose this piece. I don't want to use my knife. Most people use the blade of the knife, which is a bad thing to use on flint. Now, what you do with this, this is the can opener side. As you grab the flint, and you place it, and you just place it right on the tip here where it curves between the sharp part and the piece where you can actually use it for a flathead screwdriver. So you put it like this and check this out. You can make fire off of it. So you can use this to create spark in an emergency situation. If you just have a flint and this, you don't want to damage your blade. This is all the tools that it comes with. It's not like the old school one. The old school one comes with like everything you need. We're going to test out the blade one more time with this paracord, 550 cord. And I'm just going to cut just a little bit of it. I did carve uh, a branch. So let's see if it still cuts. Still cuts. Now, it's not the sharpest knife out there, but it gets the job done. The last test I want to do because it's so grippy, it has a lot of grip than the old, the original one. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and wet it a little bit and see if I can still use it. So here it goes. I'm going to wet it with the blade closed. Alright, just in case if it rains or or um, you know you fall in the puddle or you fall in the lake or a pond or whatever this is gonna get wet so let's try it locks up grip is still grippy doesn't come out so I'm gonna carve it you can still use it just fine as is It works perfectly fine and got it all wet. I'll let it dry out before I put it back in the package and stuff like that. And I really like this knife. It's it's uh, minimal. The recommendation that I, sh that I would give to Switza, this knife company, is if you want to make something more cool and, and better, a clip would be nice. If you can put a clip in here just to clip it in your side pocket or somewhere you can clip it in your bag that would be awesome so if they come out with one with a clip just like this with a clip I am buying it firsthand thanks everybody for watching don't forget to subscribe down below this video so white little box says subscribe hit that you're good to go give it a thumbs up if you have this knife comment below and let me know what you think about this knife if you haven't got it yet and if you want to order it, link is below. Uh, also, the guy that sent me this knife and entered, you know, I agreed to enter the gauntlet. Uh, his channel is down below. His name's Gun Collector. He's a really good guy. He does great reviews on different things. I uh, had a lot of fun doing it. And also, thank you for this. I owe you one. So prepare for something that I'm going to send you. Just got to figure out what. Anyways, I'll see you guys. Thursday.